My grandma told me do not take shit from anybody in this motherfucking bitch. See, my grandma told me never, never, never take no shit. Especially that shark in the dark is that shark in the dark and suck my watch your man. My grandma told me never, never, ever, ever take no shit. And that's probably why my grandpa hides, but my grandma's why my heart won't quit. My dad taught me how to handle the riffraff and mum bought the paint first time I did graph. One time for the fan that you got. My granny got a gun and never ran from the cops. So I stand on this rock with a zen mentality and drift this beast till we bend reality. My bloodline bangs when I handle the beat. So don't bark up my family tree. I say what you think, but I'm not a mind reader. I'm good to my girl, but I wear a wife beater. Happy as fuck when I rap with my cuz. If you're battling him, then you're battling us. Full of wolves, who's the leader of the pack? When they teach you how to act, trying to keep you in a trap Conditioned, till you're blue in the face So take it from rage, I won't do what they say Because my grandma told me Never, never, never take no yes. shit Especially that shark in the dark Is that shark in the dark And suck my Watch your man My grandma told me Never, never, ever, and she looks dangerous I should play with it Yeah, yeah. here we go my heart won't just ball like it's Matt O'Marley And I finally got a job to get my dad that Harley Though it's hardly a job Cause the tune forms refuge I'm an uncle now with a newborn nephew Flowers grew, brown broke with the buzz Jam with my fam, sound folk with my cuz We don't say it enough So from all of my band I'ma take a sec to give it up to all of our fans I just stand in the kitchen with a plan and a vision I'm a man on a mission with my folk on a Friday so Oi Joel, are we still meeting at the telephone exchange? Is that shit safe? Yeah mate Sweet Sorry about that, mate. Just drinking some juice. Could go something stronger. You nearly there? Yeah, mate. Pulled up. No one's here. Sweet. You got the beers? Of course. You're not on the phone while driving, are you? Yeah. I don't think this counts, mate. Uh, Daryl, nearly got to tell you. I ran into Roy's missus on the way over here. Oh, yeah? How is she looking? Like shit. I thought she was half decent. Nah, she's disgusting. Hey, you remember to bring Betsy? Sorry, mate, you sounded a bit munted there. You remember to bring Betsy. I picked it up on my way to work. Joel? Lost you, mate. Jolly? Lost you. <laughs> Fucking take that lawnmower in your face, you snake. wheels. <sighs> Jolo? Yeah, I feel like some kind of junky Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, never seen it, mate. Do you like my new hat? Yeah, yeah, if your hobbies are disrespecting fallen soldiers, then it's great. Suppose we'll keep your virginity in check. Bullshit, I've fucked three whole people, and you know it. You fucked one girl. In all three in holes. In all three holes, <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Have I told you that one? Yeah. Anyway, where are the beers? Don't you want to see your surprise first? Uh, if it's got a pulse and a vagina, yes. Ah, uh, well, you're in for a bit of luck. Get back. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, 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 it's Roy's missus. Uh, she's rough as guts, I told you. Did she shit herself? Did I just shit myself? No, 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 she's full zombie. Hey, at least she's got more than three holes. Hey, watch it. It's still Roy's wife. So, where are the beers? You bastard. How the fuck am I supposed to... What are you going to do with her? What do you mean you want me to do something? Roy might want to fuck her with his eyes closed one last time. Even Roy wouldn't smash that, OK? It'll take him hours to get down here if he gets down here at all. Plus, we can't have him wandering around eating people's faces and whatnot. So what are you suggesting? You put her out of her misery. I'm not putting her out... Why do I have to do it? Because I'm in charge, OK? And I can't do it because... I'll lose my spot on the cricket team. That's bullshit, mate. You know, I want to play on that cricket team too. Do you think the captain's going to pick me when I've blown his wife's face to pieces? Even if you got in the team, you'd only be filming fine leg to fine leg. Get, get, get Betsy! Go get Betsy! Oh, fuck! OK, this is what we have to promise. When we see Roy, we tell him exactly what happened. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Just buddy, do it. Come on. I'm not taking the fall for this whole thing. Just do it. Come on, come on, do it. Do it now! Now! Oh, 
okay, all right, reassess. All right, we'll just, we'll tell Roy that she fell on a rock. Big fucking explosive rock. How many shells you got left? Uh, eight. Well, seven now. Where's Roy anyway? Took a job at the coast on Friday, spent the weekend there. Last I heard from him, he was on his way back. Did he get paid mileage and overtime? Oh, yeah. Should soften the blow of his dead wife a bit. Yeah. All right, I got some uh, cut five cable. Uh... Oh, yeah, I got, um, I got cutters, exchange tools, and a screwdriver down the front. <laughs> Shit, man, the security door. Let's slam the bloody door. Fuck. Sure you can. Okay. We're gonna need more weapons. Seven shells isn't gonna protect us for long. <laughs> hey, at least we know no one's getting in here. This place has got a door. We're safe. Yeah, well. We should just sit here and wait it out. Do you think we're gonna die? Maybe. Well, let's talk about something. Let's reminisce. Really? Absolutely. I've uh, never told anybody this before. Yeah? Uh, um, when, when I was a, a kid, just a little fella, I had an uncle and he seemed the outside world to be a very nice man. But my parents went out, and it was just a two of us. Um, you take, take me, take me by the hand and uh, lead me into his basement. And he said it was our secret. Hey, I'll stop you there. I've, let's just talk about fun childhood anecdotes, or did you ever play fun game of cricket, or? Daryl, I was talking about cricket. That was, he'd take me down there for secret cricket games. Sure. We should play cricket. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to appeal. You bowled me, you fuckhead. Uh, yeah, that's why you'll never be in the cricket team, mate. Well, the bat's too small, and my diabetes is playing up, right? Now give me the ball so I can show you a fastball. Oh, fuck. We are not doing this in the dark. Are you still scared of the dark? No. No, I'm not afraid of the dark. Absolutely not. That's bullshit. Look at the thing, hey, it's been so long. It's got a little you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, well, we're nearly there. I can keep it on for a little bit, but uh, the backup power only lasts about six hours without a generator. Sounds like a plan. Oh, no. <laughs> I cracked a screen. That's terrible timing. Do you have reception on your phone? Nope. My mobile base stations are down as well. Guess without us getting paid to go and restart them. Looks like they'll be down for a while. What was that? I don't know. All right, we're, we're, we're done here. You just got to go in there and turn the main switch on. All I got to do is go in there where we just heard the death rape noise and flick a switch on in the darkness. That's all I gotta do with it. You're the one holding my shotgun. Oh, fuck it. Betsy. Shit. Let it off me. Somebody get this thing off me. Roy, is that you? Holy 
shit, did everyone see that? No. Jesus. Daryl, you know my daughter, Emma? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen her for a few years, but she's really grown out. Up, she's grown up. Um, how did you produce that? I'm pretty sure there was a mix up at the hospital. How you doing, Daryl? Yeah, not bad. Everyone I know is probably dead, but yeah. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Uh, it's probably a private conversation we should have. Is your thrush playing up again? No, I never had thrush. It was a tapeworm and it's dead. Oh. What's happened? Talking about Daryl's tapeworm again? No, it was thrush. And no, no, it was a rotter snuck into the building with Roy and Emma. I killed it. Emma got the assist. Hit me up. Don't have to hit me up. I can't stay here, you know that, right? Health and safety. Come on. Okay, there. All right, up, up, come on. Use your bloody knees, come on. So why do we have to put it in the men's toilet? Because it's a man, and it'd be rude to put it in the women's toilets. Isn't that right, Emma? I'm easy. Well, I'm gonna get all this toilet paper. We can use it as bandages so anyone gets bitten. If one of us gets bitten, the person closest to him has to kill him. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. Hey, Roy, I was thinking maybe because I saved your life earlier, you'd put me on the cricket team next year. Are you fucking kidding me? Nobody's getting on the team unless somebody dies first. What, just one person's gonna die? Easy, I thought I had to go to training or something. What? I, you should have seen me hitting sixes with Joel before. Are you out of your skull, Daryl? You have the coordination of a stillborn giraffe. Now put the bloody gun down, wash your hands, get out of the toilet. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, that's true. I need a fucking holiday. What are you looking at, pup? Just checking the place out. Never been in a telephone exchange before. Well, it's not as glamorous as the media makes it out to be. It's a shitstorm out there. We had to hit a couple of those tards with the ute on the way over. Dad! There's nothing wrong with calling a tard a tard. I mean, people need to stop being so soft. What do you reckon's causing all this? I mean, it's like, you know, government poisoning the water supply. Is it like uh, airborne pathogens? Kids on meth? Nah, I've dabbled with meth, mate. I didn't behave like this. I chased people, but I didn't bite them. Not this hard. What have you been up to, Jolo? Trying to figure out what supplies we have so I can figure out a plan. Got expired mud cake and cheese. And sausages. Still frozen. Brilliant. What supplies did you bring, Roy? Everything. Fucking toilet paper up the fuck hole, tech screws, silicon, and... The Toolmaster 5000. Now this is amazing. Solid steel frame, it's got everything. Pliers, file, magnifying glass, it's blue. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, mate. Yeah, you could really fuck someone up with that or build a shed. If this can't save us, nothing can. Well, I've got a 12-gauge shotgun, but yeah, whatever you say. How safe are we in here? I don't like the idea of being sitting ducks. I oh, don't worry, Emma, we're real fucking safe here. Really safe. This place has, uh running water, some backup power, doors. Windows? Uh, windows, double glazed windows. So, you know, you need a security pass to get in. Just make sure you shut the doors. It's not a massive tent. Well, what's the plan here? Just relax, kick back and enjoy the vacation. Dad, people are dying outside. Yeah, she's right. We're only protected in here for so long. We've only got enough food supplies to last us, I don't know. Maybe. Years. Even decades. A couple of days, Daryl. Even a few days, a yeah. Days. We need a plan. We need to find somewhere with weapons and, and food. Otherwise, we're just fish in a barrel. Can we just please just keep it to one animal? I thought we were sitting ducks. You don't stress, puppy. They gotta go through the door and then get through me to catch you. I just don't want us to die in this hole, you know? Anything that we can do to stay safe would be great. I got it. How about this? You two homos come up with a plan and I'll tell you if it's any good. Dad! What? That's so homophobic. I'm not homophobic. Two of my best mates are homos. There's Lesbo Sherl and Billy the Ballbag, the butcher. I mean, even Daryl here is a bit gay. He's kidding. He's... <laughs> Once in the showers after footy, I lent on a cock and... Hey, I got an idea though. Hit... Okay, ready? I go to the shops and I buy us some food. 
Oh, no, you can't go to the shops. They're way too dangerous. No, there's some kind of guerrilla war going on at the supermarkets. People are getting killed over supplies. In fact, you know what I heard on Talkback Radio? The first sign of infection, purple spots on your genitals. That's hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> Joel, what about this mainframe thing? Do you think we can use this to call for help? Ah, the MDF. If the power's down, that means the base stations are down. That means there's no mobiles, no radio for normal people. Ah, I see, right. So the uh, normies are incommunicado. Is that right? So government buildings, such as health and defence, they have backup comms. Yes, yes, I know exactly where you're going with this. Do you want me to take it from here? You do it. No, you say it. If I can get a line out, maybe I can call them and maybe they can come and get us. No, I was, I was going to say prank calls. Can you go get my phone? Yep. Right, I'll see if I can splice it into this and get a clear dial tone. Great. Hey, guys, I've solved our food problem. Chips. Three different fucking flavours. Get me the gun now. I'll smash it. Oh, uh, wait, shouldn't you preserve your ammo? And the chips? Yeah, I guess so. Can I borrow two bucks? Hey, Dad. Got your favourite, salt and vinegar. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. I've only got two skills, really. Knowing the breeds of dogs and picking chips. At TAFE, they called me Dog Knowing Chip Picking Roy. Mmm, mouthful. You know, the world's gone to shit. I reckon I might just let you have your very first beer. Thanks, Dad. You know I'm 19, right? Yeah, yeah. Birthday's May 24. Mm. This isn't my first beer. Look. As far as I'm concerned, you're as pure as the driven snow. Fuck, remember that pregnancy scare? <laughs> oh, fuck, that was intense. <laughs> What's up with Roy? Doesn't seem like a guy whose wife's just lost her head. Yeah, he's taking it pretty well, isn't he? You haven't told him, have you? No fucking way, not with Emma there. She's a big girl, she can take it. She can take it, all right? Hey. Don't be... Hey, D Daryl, you got, uh, you got signal? Yeah, no, nothing yet, mate. Can anyone hear that? No. No one heard that? I think you're hearing things, baby. The longer you take to tell them, the harder it's gonna be. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, I will tell them their dearly beloved wife and mother has recently been shot in the face. I'm gonna say it like that. I'm gonna say it like that. Oi, Royzer, that motherfucker that jumped on you earlier wasn't like the ones in the movies, was it? No, I don't reckon. Yeah, they're not brain dead though, they're more hive minded. They just seem stupid. Some of them are still pretty fuckable. I find the virus takes them from a 10 out of 10 down to about a 7. Okay, no, I definitely heard something. Shit, we're gonna need more guns. Light from the building's been attracting the zombies. This door's definitely locked, right? Holy shit. How many of these fuckers do you think there are? It's got to be about 159, maybe, give or take, 77-ish. Maybe 40, I don't know, I'm pretty stoned, man, I'm not gonna lie. And it'll hold? Yes. And it's the only entrance? Well, there's a roll door at the back, you need a security pass for that. 
Oh shit, there's Adzi from trade school. He's fucking annoying. No, don't worry, mate. He's just a little bit different now. He's still got that annoying fucking face. Okay, well, what's the plan here? Well, the lines aren't connected. The ISPs are down. Dad, what can we do? I got a plan. <sighs> That's pretty much my plan, just to get a lung full of sweet, cherry flavoured water vapor. Is there any way to get a connection to the lines and call for help? Well, from here, sure, but there'd be no one on the other end. Except the military. Well, what's the closest base? Like seven clicks from here? We could send a cap kick down the line, try and shock it with 50 volts. No, 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 the lines are down. We have to go mobile. Roof tower? Yeah, 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 yeah. If I can hook it up long enough for them to get our location, maybe they can come and get us. Yeah, the military, they'd have beer and weed. Great, all right. Well, it looks like we've got a plan. You go turn the power off. From now on, we work in the dark. Roy and Emma, you move the supplies into the back room. Back wire and exchange battery into the desk light. If we need to see anything, we do it in that room. I'll get on the roof and start working on the 3G tower. If I can rebuild the mainframe, we should be able to broadcast our location. We've got a door, which is good, but not impenetrable. Use the old exchange batteries to power a little electric fence. Make sure the floor can act as a conductor. And finally, use whatever else you can to block the door. <laughs> Roy, could you give us a hand moving this big slut of a thing? Hang on, smoke go break. What is that? Electric ciggy. I'm trying to quit. <sighs> you soft cunt. Oh, fuck. Hey, Jolo, how much longer? Uh, maybe 25 more minutes. Excellent. I'm going to have a power snooze. Hey, uh, wake me up when the helicopters get here or when the rotters have got us. That's poetry. I'm like the Bob Dylan of tradies. <sighs> yep. I'm gonna miss these. They're great hands. The beer, Daryl. Oh, well, you know what? The military's gonna be here real soon and they got tons of beer. Yeah. And then this will all blow over very quickly because there's got to be some mad scientist out there working on a cure, you know? Yeah. I think that's what I'll miss most. Medicine and intelligent pricks out there curing diseases. And You know, it's just one tablet and thrush is completely gone. Just one. I read that online. Yeah, I'm going to miss the internet. Me too. Probably for different reasons. I like double penetration videos. Gonna miss my friends. Shit, friends. I haven't seen my friends in years. I, I don't think I've got any friends anymore. Ah, oh, Daryl, I'm your friend. Really? Yeah. What else are you gonna miss? Um, music. Guys with big brown eyes. Fuck yeah. I think I'm just gonna miss the nightly news as well. Just it was always comforting seeing places way more fucked up than ours. Mm -hmm. Um, not so much anymore, I guess. I'm gonna miss my boyfriend. Yeah, uh, just having someone there to talk to, I guess, makes all the difference, doesn't it? Oh, um, just actually, I was talking about the sex. The sex is, yeah, well, you know what? My grandpa used to say, that reminds me, this sounds irrelevant, bear with me. He used to say, put a jelly bean in a jar every time I fuck a chick before I'm married, and then tag one out every time I get laid after I'm married. He reckons I'll never have an empty jar. Turns out I'll never have a wife. <sighs> you know, they do say, um, apocalypses can make you go a bit crazy. All right, let's fucking do this. Fuck. Shit, dude. Oh, 
say you're my zombie slave. You're my zombie slave. You're bitch. my zombie. You're, you're my, my zombie slave. I'm your zombie slave, oh, bitch. Zombie oh, slave. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, that's good. Oh, this is thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Oh, oh, oh there's so much sex you want. You're crying. Oh, it's so oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Apprentices are here. What? We uh, saw the light go off in the building. Thought you guys might be in here causing trouble. Good to see you, Ryan. You're looking good, mate. Lachlan. Roy. So, what's been happening? Everybody all right? Joel's on the roof trying to get in contact with the military. Big black helicopter coming any minute. You don't, you don't want to be doing that. Hey, 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 hey. Before we partake in the pleasantries, we're going to need the two of you to come with us to the back room. Show us your cock and balls. Dad? Darling, it's a necessary medical precaution. Um, what, what are you talking about? Your penis and testicles, whip them out. Yeah, Roy, I don't think we're Hey, to... go get Betsy in case we see a hint of purple. Look, we're all exhausted. I just don't see how showing you our balls is gonna help anything. Hang on, did I ask for your opinion? Uh, fucking no, I didn't. Your cock and balls, get them out now. Oh, I never knew you cared, Roy. All right. You want the shaft too? Fuck no. There. Wasn't so hard, was it? Lachlan, get him the fuck out or get the fuck out. That's enough. What, didn't he satisfy you enough? Hey, fuck. come on, no, you can't hit an Asian, it's a hate crime. Fine, fine. But it's your funeral. Just don't come crying to me going, oh, Roy, yeah, we should have checked these balls. Those balls will come back to haunt you. It's going to be like Nightmare on Ball Street. What was that about? I'm not sure. I, he's being a bit fucked. I'll go check. He's got something about first signs of infection. I don't know. What, first signs show up on your balls? Apparently. Oh, well, he could have just said that. I thought he was getting lonely. Oh, well, it's good to hear him out once a day. <sighs> what the hell was all that about, Roy? What are those idiots even doing here? What's anyone trying to do here, mate? Survive? Yeah, well, that's just what we need, isn't it? A couple of fuckwits running around, eating all the chips with their cut-off sleeves, banging into everything with their giant nutsacks. They're good people, mate. They've got weapons. Besides, Emma seemed very happy to see Lockie. Emma doesn't need that idiot to look after her, mate. Emma's got us. I know you don't like Lockie, but he's a good kid. You've just got to try and see past his skin colour. What did you just say? I can't eat with chopsticks either. You I mean... fucking racist. No, 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 no. Mate, I said nothing about the colour of his skin. I wouldn't care if he was aubergine and pissing rainbows. So, Roy, I thought that's why you got your goat. No, mate. The reason that he obtains my goat is that he's having sex with my daughter. Hey, you listen to me. No one, I mean, no one is having sex with your daughter. Do you understand? So how about this? We give him a fair go. I'll make sure Lockie's not infected. If he is, you personally get to pull the trigger. Because I agree with you, mate. If anyone's infected, we got to... End them. Yes, that's fantastic. Hey, listen, just while I've got you here, uh, that thing I've been meaning to tell you. Oh, yeah, is it important? Yes, it is. Are you turning into one of those rotting freaks? No. Did you get my daughter pregnant? Then it's not fucking important. Really? 
Are you sure? All right, I'm sorry. I was a little bit tense. All right. Ryan. Oh, cheers, Roy. Em. Thanks, Dad. And sorry, Lockie, we've uh, we only got about nine left, so. That's right, I'm not thirsty anyway. Dad, Lockie and Ryan were just saying the entire north side's overrun. Yeah, the whole federal highway's completely blocked. It's like pandemonium out there. Last we heard, the Monero Highway's the same. It's no real way out of town. Do you know anything about the military base? <sighs> Nothing. Ah, oh, fuck the military, man. They're the ones who put us in this mess. What about the freaks out there? Do you know anything about them? What, like, what causes it? Uh, no idea. See, it's gotta be some brain thing, you know? It turns you all cannibalistic. Besides that, they're just regular dumb fucks. Knives take them down, paintball stun them. If you get them between the eyes, you can blind them. Got it from Paintball Sports ACT. One shot to the nads and they're down like a sack of shit. Wait, what do you mean the military got us into this mess? Well, they're the ones who started this whole clusterfuck. Yeah, that's what we've been hearing. Forget the military. They'll either put us in a Gitmo quarantine or kill us then and there. Come on, governments don't kill their own people. That's never happened in history. Besides, we're not even infected anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, they've got guns. Everyone's trying to get in on them, so they've turned on us. No, that doesn't make any sense. They're the enemy. Look, I'm telling you right now, if you make contact, you've killed us all. I think I got a connection. Shit. Hang up the phone, Joel. Hello. Ha <laughs> we're survivors. Joel, hang the fucking phone up now. No, 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 we're at the telephone exchange. Uh, small group of people, uninfected, but we're, uh, we're, we're surrounded. Hey, a big black helicopter, Joel. Yeah, beers, full strength. And if you could send us a big black helicopter, that'd be ace. I got disconnected. It's all right, I think they got everything they needed. Damn it, fuck! Hey, Joel, Ryan reckons the military's all evil and compromised and shit. I can't... Why would they be coming to get us if they were compromised? They're not compromised. I got a good ear for this kind of thing. Yeah, don't worry about it, mate. The kids are wrong. Lachlan, Emma, we gotta get out of here. We can't be here when they get here. I think he's right. You know I'm right. You were there when we heard about the hyperdome. Grab your shit. We need to fuck off now. Dad, what if they're right? Don't worry, darling. They're not right. They haven't even got sleeves. Yeah, but I think we need a plan just in case. How many flares we got left? Two. That's not gonna be enough. They're not gonna fall for it this time. There's too many of them. We could make a run for Joel's youth. Are you kidding me? No one rides Marie but me. Okay, firstly, Joel, Marie is the shittest name I've ever heard. Your car sounds like a 65-year-old woman. Secondly, it's the end of the world. Do you really give a shit about getting a scratch on it? A clean car? is the only difference between us and them. Zombies, not women. Women have clean cars. Hey, uh, Joel, can I, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, swap me. Hopefully we never have to use this little baby in anger. See, I feel like you've been eating paint chips again, Ryan. Why would our military, the people who volunteer to defend this great country, turn against us? All right. We heard there was a massacre. Hundreds of civilians, uninfected, hold down in a shopping center shithole. They sent out an SOS message. The military came in their chopper, took account, and started firing. Women, children, the elderly, they killed fucking everyone. Sick. I mean, that's really sick. Oh. I don't know if they thought that they were infected, or if the smell of blood gets their fucking balls hard. Either way, I don't want to be there to find out. Who told you this? The only remaining survivor. She was in the crowd when they started firing. She played dead, hid under a bunch of bodies, they hightailed it, and she managed to escape. So you weren't actually there? No. And you didn't see it, personally? We believe her. Oh, you believe her. They believe her. Hey, you guys are free to go wherever you want and probably end up dying a horrific death in a ditch, whereas we are going to get on a Black Hawk helicopter and fly off into the sunset. Right. Well, you guys are free to come with us, but you're also free to stay here and fight our armed forces with a single shotgun. I'm gonna get on the roof and figure out a fucking plan. Mind your step, dickhead. Pack your stuff, puppy. We're going on the trip of a lifetime. The view from a Black Hawk helicopter is awesome. Hey, what makes you think she's staying here with you? Is this some kind of Asian humour? What the fuck are you talking about? Look, I'm fine with you staying here and getting yourself killed, but she's not staying here with you. You don't get any fucking say in it, mate. Well, I do. 
Look, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm definitely not going to let either of you two dictate how I live the remainder of my life. So just cut it out, please. I love you both, but I love living more. Lachlan, can I please talk to you for a second? Emma, no. Roy, let her go, mate. She's just got daddy issues, all right? And it's not your fault. It's realistically her mum's fault. Which reminds me, I've got something to tell you. Yeah, well, tell me in the helicopter. They're a great place for a conversation. OK. How sure are you that they'd kill us? I'm not sure, but I'm not willing to take the risk. Well, I believe you, but we've got to convince them. What can you tell me about this girl? Well, her name was Lena. She was alone and she had lost a lot of people. And is she trustworthy? That was the impression that I got. Right, well, where is she now? She's dead. When we met her, she was heaps of gay. She was coming down with her. She was afraid. She decided to take her own life before they got the chance to. All she wanted was a moment of companionship in her last few hours. You fucked her. You were gone. She was dying. I thought I was next. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's just like a moment of weakness. It, it lasted like 90 seconds. All right, Dad, what's your plan? Oh, uh, you tell it, Dara. Uh, what do you mean, like career plans? Um, I think I'm going to be a judge. No, I meant plans when the military get here. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Joel? We're going to tell them that we're unarmed and there's only two of us, me and Roy. Now, Daryl, go get Betsy, wait behind the door in case anything goes wrong. OK, and Ryan, what's your escape plan? Well, we're going to wait in the back corner and be really fucking quiet. They'll either kill these guys and leave, or they'll pick them up and leave. After they leave, we'll escape. Right, so everyone's plan here is basically hide and hope for the best. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Great. Great, let's fucking do it then. Well, yeah, you, uh, you coming with us? Or are you going with them? Dad, I don't know. Whichever plan works the best, I'll do that, okay? Wait, so what's the plan again? We tell them it's just Joel and me. If any shit goes down at all, you pop out and shoot the prick. Yeah, nice. Wait, why am I on the toilet floor? Because if you want to be in the cricket team, you have to have patience, dedication, and the ability to follow direction. Hey, before you go anywhere, you got a lot? Yeah. Roy? What are you doing? I hope you guys are ready to kill some Tasmanians. Hey, my cousin's Tasmanian and she's extremely attractive, I'll have you know. What, you've met her? Oh, dude, I thought of a new tagline too. Every time I kill one, I'm gonna be like, that's one small step for man, one fucking dead lame brain. No, wait, that wasn't it. Yeah, that's way too long. You know, what if you're in a room with like 20 of them? You'd have to say it every time you kill one. No, I'd kill them all first and then say it once at the end. Yeah, that's really horrible, Ryan. They're people too, you know. No, they were people. Now they're monsters. Exactly, they've lost all humanity and they smell like shit. Yeah, you'd know. Ooh, you told her. Anyway, what if they can be brought back? What if there's a cure? Sorry, Emma, that's not the way the world works. They're standing directly in front of your safety, so you chop their fucking heads off. They wouldn't think twice about killing you, so you pay them the same respect. But don't let me interrupt this argument. Yeah, they didn't bring it. Even the fucking rotters were smart enough to head towards the light. You two, quickly, give me your flares. No way, we've only got two left. Let them go. Their incompetence just saved us all. Oh, Glenn, come on, mate. You've got something. Got a bunch of fireworks. What the fuck do you bring fireworks? No, bro. Yeah, OK, fine, fireworks. Yes, great. Just give it to him, Luck. Idiots. If you play with fire, you're bound to get fucked.
Hey, Roy, what was all that about? Oh, it's just Joel setting off fireworks to let the army know that we're here. Oh, fuck, I need a piss. Oh. Roy, you're splashing it all over me. Cricket team. Roy, I know we were gonna wait till the Black Hawk chopper to talk about this, but I think, considering we may be dying, you need to know now. Uh, now, I know grown men usually stand up and piss, but you might want to take a seat for this one. Roy? Oh, Jesus. Roy, you stopped pissing midstream. That really hurts the hole. Fuck me in the ass and throw me down a volcano. My ball bag. What does that even mean? Listen, Daz, I, um, I just gotta head out there for a smidge. Are you gonna wash your hands? Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Lena. I honestly thought we were both about to die. Well, you and Ryan might both be about to die, yet you guys managed to keep each other's pants on. Come on, Emma, please. I'll have sex with Ryan right now if that evens it up. Hey, I'm not riding, bitch. Anything to show you how sorry I am. Lucky, it's not the point. Look, if I did say something similar, would you be able to let it go? In a second. I love you. Wait, did you do something? Um... Are you guys serious? Obviously, you've both been banging other people. Fortunately, the disease is not sexually transmitted, but society is fucking crumbling out there. If there is one time you should be allowed to cheat on each other, it's now. Who gives a shit? There is a horde of crazy, infected murderers out there. Let's try and keep focus on that, okay? Next time someone has sex, I at least want to be invited to watch. Oh shit, that doesn't look good. Come on, Jimmy, headshots! Right. Hello, people in the exchange, can you hear me? Uh, yes, 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 sir. Uh, affirmative. Hey, where's the helicopter? What? You know, the big, big black, spinny... Mate, I need to know exactly how many people are up there. Hardly any. I need to know exactly how many do you understand? Yes, sir. Two. Two people is all the people that is in here. And we're totally not infected. Do you have any weapons? No. No weapons. Uh, it's just us here and, and we're just sitting here like fish in a duck barrel, sir. What? No, we don't have any weapons. All right, we'll make your way slowly down to the front door. We'll meet you up, bring you back to safety, mate. No, they can't trust this trigger-happy little fuck nut. Can you hit them from here? Maybe. But they still have real guns. Yeah, I'll come out, but the other guy, uh, he, I don't know where he is. Where is the other bloke, mate? Don't play games with me! I'm not. He was here a minute ago. Don't you fuck around! He was on the roof! There's no one on the fucking roof! Should have been a rapper! It actually hurts! Pretty sure I can power through this! Oh, I can't. Oh! That's Joel's foot. Jesus! Joel, I. Soldiers. Roy, I definitely heard something. Looks like we're on our own, Daryl. Oh, fuck me, I just lost my best fast bowler. Maybe if I swap Mick and Jonesy. What the fuck's going on out there, mate? Look, I don't know how to tell you this, mate. 
Jolo got blown up on the roof. I think he's dead. The soldiers turned up without a helicopter. They got eaten by the zombies who now have a taste for blood. They are furious, and we're stuck here in this room with one shit weapon and no beer. No beer. Did this all happen while I was protecting everyone? Yes. You're responsible for a lot of deaths, mate. Yep. I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'll just leave you here to think about what you've done. Hey guys, I was wondering if maybe... Oh, I'm sorry. You're nuzzling each other. That's cute. Hey, I've got dibs on watching them first. Did you tell him, Emma? Um... Tell me what? <laughs> Whatever you were going to say to him. If you were going to say anything at all, which I'm pretty sure you weren't because there's nothing to say. I'm going outside for a second. You know what? No, I do need to, I do need to ask one thing. Do you guys have any plans to get us out of this shit? So I say we grab those guns from the soldiers. Yep. Hop in the rover, head up the coast, charter a boat, maybe sail up north and... Find some weed. Yeah, yeah, that's more or less exactly my plan. I'll tell Roy. Nice. No, don't tell Roy because we're not fucking doing it. That's a fucked plan, Ryan. Shit effort. What were you thinking? Roy, what's your plan? I say we wait them out. Those fuckers have been going all night. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but everybody has to sleep at some point, even if you're a fucking retarded, brain-dead, flesh-eating prick. So we wait till they're asleep, we go for the rover, take it to the military base, you can have automatic weapons and beer. And the Academy Award for the most dumbass bullshit plan goes to Roy! Well done, Roy. Would you like to say a few words? Uh, yes, yes, I would. Uh, I'd just like to say, uh, one, get fucked, and two, get seriously fucked. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, Dad, are you all right? You look a bit crook. No, nah, man, I'm fine. I just uh, just had a dodgy pie. I'm going to go... just going to go lie down for a while. Do you, Lachlan, do you mind cleaning that up? You know what? No, no, no. I got this. I can do this. What's that, 150 metres? 200 at most? I can run that in 45 seconds. Then I grab the guns and the rover keys, swing back round here, you guys hop on and we're done and dusted. Or you'll get ganged up in the middle somewhere, eat and turn into one of those freaks while we're left sitting here like a bunch of lazy hippos. What? What? Stop making up animal sayings. I'm not making these sayings up. Lazy hippos? Like you've ever seen a proactive hippo? You don't know what I've seen. Guys, look, I agree. Ryan, you're never going to make it on your own. There's way too many of them, which is why I'll go with you. What? What? I'm saying what to her. What do you mean you're going? Exactly what I said, Lockie. I'm going to help slice some zombie throats. Don't call them that. Back him up and help us get the fuck out of here. So she's more than just a pretty face, mate. Great rig too. Everything's in order. I'm just going to go and swing this plan by Roy. Get the OK. Is everything all right in there, mate? Yeah, mate, I'm just a bit constipated. You cry like a bitch when you're constipated, do you? I wasn't fucking crying. Yeah, look, I heard some light sobbing or some gentle weeping coming from this booth. No, I think my hay fever's just playing up a bit. Sure, right, yeah, your hay fever, mate. Hey, listen, I've got to talk to you about something really urgently. Don't talk to me while I'm in the toilet. These are pertinent issues, Roy, OK? Pertinent is a word that I learnt today and that I always wanted to use before I died and I got to, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, okay, what? Emma's making a run through the rotters. They're trying to get to the army car and escape. Fuck me. Secondly, and more importantly, this indoor cricket team. What's the go there? Am I in? Am I out? Are you fucking serious? I just feel like I have the capabilities to take the team all the way next year, mate. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
If there is a competition this year, I will keep you in the very, very back, darkest recesses of my mind with all of the ugliest, most disturbing people I've ever fucked. Well, then I'm as good as in, mate, because I know you think about those ones when you're having a bat. Hey, Daryl, can I borrow the shotgun for a little while? What do you want old Betsy for, man? Look, you never ask your captain a question, yeah? And also, I only, only need it for a minute and uh, you can play with this. Oh, a T5000, oh my God, oh my God, this is the best day ever. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Uh, if you guys are gonna pop a quickie, I'll be there in a moment. Just hurry, we've gotta do this soon. What am I talking about? It's old mate Lightning Lockie. He'd be finished now. Fuck that, seven years bad luck. <sighs> Fuck! How do women do that? God! We could die, you know. You're not going to die, and the only way I'm going to die is if I'm protecting you. And I don't plan on dying either, not until I help your dad win a cricket premiership next year. Not ideal. So you got my back? Yeah, you got mine. Yes, so let's fucking do this. No, look! Okay. I'll fucking kill you first if you ever say that again to me. Got it. They're coming, they're coming! Grab your fucking gun! YOLO! What's going on? They're in here. They got Joel's key card. Grab your shotgun. I don't have the shotgun. Roy's got it, mate. Then grab something else. Lachlan, load up. Emma, take this, you're up front. Daryl, go with her. Lachlan, cover them from the back. I got this side. Any ones you miss, I've got. Any zombies you miss, I'm fucked. Stop calling them that. They're not technically undead. Look, we can hold them off for a bit, but I don't think we can take them all. I can hold a fucking child with this. Headshots are dead shots. Headshots are dead shots. Dick shots are dead shots. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Shit. I'm gonna hit this fucker out the park. I'm out, you take it, you got it, you got it. Okay, uh, 
um, uh, listen to the bottle, like, no, 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 what the fuck is that? Don't know. Dude, you gave me the shit gun. Grab your machete and do some karate flips or something then. You give me your gun, not a fucking chance. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, who wants their nails filed? I'm coming for you. Daryl, we need another one of those electric fences. Can you make sure it doesn't suck like the last one? He was crying because he was constipated and all the flowers in the telephone exchange were making his hay fever play up. No, I was formulating a plan. Looks like I saved you morons just in time. Why, where's Joel? Joel's dead, mate. <sighs> Jesus. Should we do like a minute of silence or something? Yeah, actually, out of respect for Joel, could you be silent for like the next four or five fucking hours? People die, mate, it's part of life. Speaking of which, Em, um, remember when you were at primary school and you had that little puppy dog and I told you it ran away? Mippy. Yeah. Oh, wait, Dad, please, no. No, 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 no. It, it did run away. But when I say away, what I mean is under the front wheels of my ute. Oh, my God, Emma, I'm so sorry about Mippy. That is, that's heartbreaking. How'd you get through the crowd without them noticing? Have you ever been to a football grand final? The only thing more stupid than an angry crowd is an angry crowd full of bloodthirsty maniacs. Oh, shit, they're coming. OK, look, I'm not saying we're more intelligent than them, but I'll put a case of beer on the fact that a heap more of them die before they get through that fence. Mippy would have found a way. Oh, Emma, Mippy's dead. Move on. You move on. Looks like you're a hero, Roy. <laughs> yeah, guys, I guess uh, in a lot of ways I am a bit of a hero. <laughs> oh, it's Roy right on my shoes. Sorry. Dad, you need to lay down. No, 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 fuck. We don't have time for that. Now's the time you guys have got to run for the rover and get us the fuck out of here. I don't have any paintballs left. Yeah, Betsy's out too. I've got a couple left, but the sights are off on this thing. Couldn't you just get out there and do some crazy ninja shit? Why does everyone keep saying that? Look, we can't really run and shoot. It's going to weigh us down. All right, give me that. I have a plan. I can protect you guys from up here. 
Ryan, Lachlan, you two hit the ground, you split both ways, you run up the flanks. That opens up their centre. A minute later, M bolts up the middle, grabs the keys from the dead soldiers, you get in the rover, you come round the back. I can keep M covered from up here. That's actually not a bad plan. Yeah, where'd you learn tactics like that, you Napoleon motherfucker? Oh, I used to be coach of M's under 14 soccer team. Till some of the parents complained. Were you losing too many games or? Nah, it's what the newspapers called a hugging based controversy. It doesn't really matter. Look, I'm gonna go over there and have another spew somewhere. Uh, Lachlan, I'd just like to say, can you go clean up that other spew? How you doing, Roy? Oh, I never feel better, mate. You look like shit. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm 51 years old. You should have seen me after my 21st birthday party. I lost the ability to speak English for an entire week and bizarrely, I somehow learned Spanish. Congratulations, Luke. I know what's going on. Oh, I hope you do, man. I hope your hamstrings know what's going on. You've got a long way to run. No, I know what's going on with you and the sickness. Lena from the hyperdome had the same thing. <sighs> I'm not showing you my balls, if that's what you mean. Look, Roy, you could turn any second now. What are you gonna do? Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep this between ourselves. No, I can't let you do that. You're gonna put us all in danger. No, I'm not. I was never going to. I'm not coming with you, I'm staying here. What about Emma? I can protect her long enough to make sure she gets to the rover, but once you hit that rover, you hit the ignition and get the fuck as far away from this place as you can. And you have to promise me one thing. When this all blows over, you take Emma and you go see the Wallabies win the World Cup. I don't think that's going to happen in the final. Well, just promise me. No, no, I can't promise you that. Just promise it. No, they've been weak all season. They're not going to make it that far, plus all the zombies and... Fucking promise me! I'm not going to make a promise I can't keep. Well, then fucking lie to me. No! As much as it pains me to admit this, Lachlan, that's why I've always liked you, because you stick to your guns. You know, I said to you, don't go near my little girl, and you somehow got her to fall in love with you. You're a decent man. You've got admirable qualities, and I change. You know, don't change into a rah, or I'll fucking come and kill you. Kill you. Look, I, I want you to have this. You know, I've killed lots of zombies with it. I think you deserve it. Oh. And you can kill yourself with it. <laughs> you call that a knife? No, that's a machete. Yeah, it's like a early 80s film reference thing. I, I got something for you too. Um take that. It's uh it's my uh my sat phone number. There's not enough power to make a call, but I can receive one. So uh when you get far enough away, I want you to call me and let me know that you're okay. And uh let me say goodbye to my little girl. Yeah, I can promise you that. Cow. <laughs> no, sorry. No. <laughs> Listen, Roy. Oh, nice blade, man. Fuck. Hey, look, I got something to talk to you about. Yeah, look, I've already told you, mate. Uh, I'm considering you for the team. No, it's not that, man. Whatever it's... it is, whatever it is you've been pissing your pants about this whole time, it no longer matters. All that matters is we get to that rover and get the fuck out of here. I disagree, mate. I think once mate, you hear what happens... you're not listening to me. The only thing that matters is that we get to the rover. You want to focus on something? Focus on that. OK, we're doing it. Yeah. Lucky? Let's do some cross country. See? Let's do it. Good luck. I'll see you in the road. Without a scratch. I love you. Come on. Come on, you wanna play? You wanna play? Let's do this! Oh no, shit, no, I can't make that jump. That, that, that's too hard. Fucking what? 
I'm staying here with you, man. I'm gonna cover Emma's rear, so to speak. No, 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 you get the fuck out there. Come on, you oh. bloodthirsty oh. bastards. Who wants some? Who wants some? Da, la, 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 la. Come on. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? I just said it. Get the fuck out there. I'm not going. I'm leaving now. Make a decision. I'm gonna stay here with Roy. He's sick, and a player never leaves his captain. Run like hell, baby. You know, you, uh, you are mental for staying here. It's fine by me. Ah, come on, you dirty fuckers. I've got two giant nuts for whoever can catch me. Jeez, I knew you guys were sick, but I thought you'd have a bit of a race in you. Am I going left? Am I going right? <laughs> Oh my god, sorry, I never hear women ever. Whatever. Oh fuck, Roy, how long do you reckon that door's gonna hold? How would I know? What am I, an industrial designer? I'm a fucking good shot, that's what I am. I think he's on the other side of the building. They're in. Fuck they're, yeah. They're in the rover. Hopefully no one else has to die, especially not me. <laughs> oh shit, they break the door down. Nice fucking fencing, Daryl. What am I, a fencer? <laughs> here, quick, give me the tool master. Find us a way out of here. Yeah, whereabouts? Where do I go? I don't fucking know, just go somewhere. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, here, follow me, follow me. Oh, oh, there's fucking heaps of them! Oh. Hurry the fuck up! Here we go, what's this? The now fire! The now fire! Just fucking open it! Let's go, come on! Roy's up! Fuck! Grab the vent! Okay. Here, take the tool master. Okay. We're coming back for that, right? Yeah, sure. Come on! Oh! Oh, I'm out for the season. Oh, I'm gonna get raped. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 suck some grass. Oh, want some grass? Oh, oh. Help me. Oh, oh. Get in here, pussy. Oh, Come on, I got you, I got you. Thanks for saving my life. No big deal. What the fuck? Are you trying to kiss me? No, 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 I was just in the moment. Are you alright? I think I sprayed my ankle. Give us a look. Oh, oh that's, a, uh, that's a pretty nasty sprain, bro. What is it? Shit! I'm gonna pass out. Oh, Jesus, just don't look at it. What, you can handle a million bleeding rotters eating each other to death, but a bit of bones couldn't do it for you? I think I'm in shock. You're not going into shock, okay? You're not a doctor. You're just being a pussy. Keep your mind off me, alright? Think about what we have to do next. Find Daryl and Roy. What is this place, Roy? It's a fire escape tunnel. Hey, can we get any more light? No, it's a fucking fire escape tunnel. Where's it lead? Oh, fuck, Daryl. It leads to the gates of hell. Don't say that, Roy. Not after all we've seen. Okay, it's a fire escape tunnel. 
it leads to escape. Look, we just have to time it with the rover. We go out too early, we get eight. We go out too late, we'll be eight. Exactly. Roy, can we talk about something? No, no, I can hear the rover. Crawl faster. I need to say it. Oh, fuck it, I can hear the rover. Just go. It's about Emma and me. Oh, all right. I may have had, yep. in fact, I, I did have uh -huh. a brief but consensual sexual encounter with your girl recently. How do I say this? Um, are you familiar with the act of penetration? I am familiar with penetration. All right, so we're on the same page. Where are these dipsticks? I don't know, we'll do another lap. Okay. Give me that. Fuck it. What's that? <laughs> yeah, hello? Hey, Roy, can you hear me? Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> what do you want, Lachlan? Well, where are you guys? We've been driving around like a bunch of headless chickens. We can't see you anywhere. Yeah, we're stuck in the fucking tunnel. Are you coming out? No, I don't think we are. We've got a couple of things we've got to work out down here. Congratulations, Luke. I've got something really important to ask you. Oh, Lachlan, nothing good ever came from somebody wanting to know about something important. No, 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 no. This is different. I want to ask you if I can marry your daughter. Oh, fuck. Lachlan, are you sure about that? More than anything. Well, have you asked Em? Not yet. Well, maybe you want to do that, you know? You're asking her to marry you, not me. She may have an opinion on it, you fuckwit. Look, the world's gone to shit, mate. I don't give a fuck what anybody does. Is that a blessing? Yeah, that's my version of a blessing. So, can you put Emma on, you fucking dickhead? Yeah, sure. Hey, puppy, is that you? Yeah, I'm here, Dad. Listen, uh, I've got to tell you something, and I don't want you to say anything until I'm done, all right? OK. OK, now, look, me and Daryl, we're going to stay here and, uh, and we're going to die. But I need you to do something for me, OK? I need you to get as far away from here as you can. But before you do that, when you're a couple of blocks away, I need you to shoot a flare so I can see it, you know? So, so then just get the fuck out of here. When you're safe, when you're really safe, you know, just blow some shit up for your old dad. OK. Is it, can you hear me? This fucking battery is dying. Yes, yes, I can hear you. I just, I don't want to leave you. Oh, baby, I'm sick. I'm fucked. Yeah, I know. I think the only thing now, anything left to turn into one of those rotters and, you know, like, fuck that, yeah? <laughs> I just want you to have a, you know, have a good life. Go do some stuff, you know, make great decisions. I, I wish, I wish I'd been a better dad, you know? I wish we'd spent more time together. I love you so much. I love you too. You know, the greatest privilege of my life was watching you grow up. So you shoot that flare, you fucking shoot it sky high, yeah? Yep, I will. Ah, fucking love you, puppy. I'm not gonna say goodbye. So you just fucking rock on, yeah? We've gotta go. So, who, who, who was that? Uh, remember the girl you violated earlier today? My beloved only daughter? That was her. Did the battery die? No, the conversation just came to a natural end. Could have kept it going? Yeah, I've just, I've just never been very good on the phone. You were saying goodbye to your daughter? Yeah, and I said goodbye. I'm pretty sure you said rock on. Look, just leave it. Mate. mate, come on. Mate. Mate. Mate! You're right, mate. I'm sorry. And if that's how we're doing things, I have another confession. 
And this one's actually a bit fucked. That's okay. Hey, listen. When we first got to the exchange, Joel had ran into your missus on the way over. Fuck no. And she'd been rotted to the core. And then she tried to attack us. You fucking didn't. I'm sorry, Roy. She's basically dead. Basically? Oh, she's actually dead. She's definitely dead. I shot her with a 12-gauge. I'm so sorry, Roy. I'm sorry, mate. Shit. I feel about as sorry as anyone could be about anything. It's, it's like the time I broke the fish tank at my parents' house, and I know it doesn't sound as bad, but shit, the fish were flopping all around the fucking ground, and Mum was screaming. It was awful. No. No, Daryl, you did the right thing, and it better you than a stranger, yeah? I mean, you found yourself in a difficult situation. You did the only logical thing. Yeah, you're, you're right. I responded. And following that line of thought, I now only have one real option left open to me, yeah? Yeah, what's that? That's for me to kill you. Wait, what's that? I get to kill you. Nah, I don't want that. Fuck that. You fucked my daughter and killed my wife in the same fucking afternoon! Oh, of course it's gonna sound bad when you put it like that, Roy. That's the way it fucking happened, Daryl! OK, yeah, you know what? You're right, that, that was rude of me. That was inappropriate, and I give you permission to kill me. Uh, how did you want to do it? <sighs> I don't care, I could just fucking strangle you out. Could I masturbate at the same time so there's something in it for me, or it's just unpleasant? No, you can't fucking masturbate. Look, all right, I'll fucking Nick Cave your head in against the fucking wall. <sighs> Jeez, man, I wish Betsy had some shells. Oh, fuck, that'd be awesome. Ah, uh, surprise me. Okay. Or, or even, you, you could leave me to the rotters. No, 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 no. It has to be me that does this. <sighs> Can't you just rape me for a bit? Daryl, rape, by its very definition, cannot be requested. Look, I'm not an animal. I just... I just want to murder you. Now take the hat off out of respect for the country and shut your eyes. Just all I ask is don't use the machete. That thing's fucking brutal. Okay, all right. Okay. On the count of three, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay. One. Actually, Root. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. All I wanted to say. Oh, fuck, that hurt. I... You can't kill me yet. Why not? Cos, cos, I'm not comfortable sitting on this fucking thing. Where the fuck did you get that? I found it in a random house on the way to the exchange. So you've had that the whole time? Yeah, since we've been in immediate danger, pretty much, yeah. Can I have a look? Yeah. That is fucking awesome. It's got some weight to it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck this room. Yeah. Hey, that had a pin. Oh, yeah, it did. Why'd you take it out? I didn't mean to. Oh, shit. Me? What? What? Fuck, boy, shit. was one hell of a bowling action. You know, we could use a guy like you on the team. But I fucked your wife and killed your daughter. You fucking what? I, f 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Either way around, I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been hardcore. <sighs> hey, Roy, there doesn't seem to be any of those rotten freaks around. I think we're free. I think the sun saved us. Of course it's the sun, it's the light. Yeah! Oh, wait. Oh, wait a night. I think you might have been thinking about vampires, Daryl. Yeah, I meant vampires. Fuck, too much team value, man. You know what? What? We've had a pretty good run. Yeah? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen man land on the moon. I've seen the Berlin Wall come down. I've seen magazine porn turn into internet porn. Discovery of the Higgs boson. Like particle physics and all that, but porn on your phone as well. <laughs> phone porn. Phone porn. How good is that? I'll tell you what, Sundance, we get out of here alive. Let's go to Australia. Fuck, I love this. I'll go up this too, man. And these things will kill you. Fuck you, Grandma. Cold, mate. No. <laughs> I love you, mate. What's that? I love you. Like a friend. Yeah, like a gay friend. No. You know, I didn't mean it like that. Can't believe it. My only daughter got rooted by a gay bloke. That is so modern. <laughs> I'm not gay, Roy. <laughs> That's my little girl. <sighs> you go, baby. That boom box in the backyard goes. <laughs> For the children on the block Has gone from love to a thug With a million dollar watch You see, I'm talking about the jungle The outback, the city I live in That cunt that'll always bounce back With a witty dominion An ill flow like this And I still don't like pigs Attitude is what I got I'm flipping, I'm tripping, I'm puffing them pot So don't even think to sleep on me Cause I'm a dodgy mattress I figured it out, I'm the king of the house I'm a flying flock of axes I'm going... Fire killing with stakes in me holsters Shooting them down, ripping the faces of vultures The trolley's full of goodies for the kids So rat -tat -tat the Big Mac of his back and I'm loading off the dick What I've got Are you still with us, old boy? Let's make some noise 
for the state of Australian hip hop. Roy. Oh, fuck, sorry, man. I was just I was just trying to formulate a plan. Oh, it's not going to work. We got no legs. Oh, fuck, that's, that plan's fucked, then. At least we've got a wheelchair or something. Hey, yeah, we're going to have races. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking beat you. Grandma told me, do not take shit from anybody in this motherfucking bitch. See, my grandma told me, never, never, never take no shit. Especially that shark in the darkness, that shark in the darkness, suck my watch your man. My grandma told me, never, never, ever, ever take no shit. And that's probably why my grandpa hides, but my grandma's why my heart won't quit. My dad taught me how to handle the rip wrath and mum bought the paint first time i did graph one time for the fan that you got Bye. granny got a gun and never ran from the cops so i stand on this rock with a zen mentality and drift this bitch till we bend reality my bloodline bangs when i handle the beat so don't bark up my family tree i say what you think but i'm not a mind reader i'm good to my girl but i wear a wife beater happy as fuck when i rap with my cuz if you're battling him then you're battling us a world full of wolves who's the leader of the pack when they teach you how to act trying to keep you in a trap conditioned till you're blue in the face so take it from rage i won't do what they say because my grandma told me never 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 take no shit especially that shark in the dark is that shark in the dark and suck my watch your man my grandma told me never never ever ever take no shit and that's probably why my grandpa yeah. hides but my Here grandma's why my heart won't quit just bob like you're mad on marley and i finally got a job to get my dad that harley though it's hardly a job because the tune forms refuge i'm an uncle now with a newborn nephew Flowers grew, ground broke with the buzz Jam with my fam, sound folk with my cuz We don't say it enough, so from all of my band I'ma take a sec to give it up to all of our fans I just stand in the kitchen with a plan and a vision I'm a man on a mission with my folk on a Friday Soak in the light rays, Carolina blue sky Coast on the highway, on track, fired up and steam powered Never listen to the dream doubters at the bean counters John the mental, consequential songwriter Lit the island up like a continental bonfire My grandma told me, never Never, never, never take no shit Especially that shark in the dark Cause that shark in the dark can suck my Watch your man My grandma told me Never, never, ever, ever take no shit And that's probably why my grandpa hides But my grandma's why my heart won't quit 26 of March, the vision is bliss Ism 555 on the 5th of the 5th And so popping in New Year's Flipping the script, it's just 380 babies That chillin' the crib, and we're not giving a shit So respect your elders, the proof's in the pudding That protects and shelters So tell this to the rock in your way I don't budge, mate, you ain't got what it takes God tinker bells, magic dust And I'm saddled up, down at the jam Rattled up in a cattle truck, paint dope picks With the palette of a dreamer Make go sick and Hey Roy you dead? Oh, you I'm, I'm trying to die. I'm just, just takes ages. We got no legs, but we're still alive. Maybe we could come back for the sequel and or video game. Oh fuck, that'd be sweet. Play like legless characters. Yeah, we get those. What do you call those? Like prosthetic, not prosthetics, like robotics, like six million dollars. Robocop legs. Yeah, Robocop. Oh, legs. Let's do that then. I'm not even a real cop. Do you reckon I could still get them? No, I don't believe it. <laughs>